lesson, we're going to talk about how to hold a bottle, how to pour, and how to cut your pour. You're going to need two things for this lesson. One is a bottle, any bottle will do really, and you're also going to need these pour spouts. These are called Spill Stop 28550. These are universal around the world at professional bars. In fact, I would go as far as to say if you have a pour spout other than this, in most cases, it can be a bit of a beacon of lower standards. This pour spout allows you to regulate the pour consistently. And once you take the time to master your free pour, you can essentially free pour into your jigger or at many bars, you can just free pour. The first best practice I want you to begin adopting is having your label face your guest, okay? Don't let this slip you up too much. It is just a best practice, but if your label can be facing your guest as much as possible. It is a nice touch because ultimately the experience is for them. So if they can see the label and what you're pouring, that's awesome. Now let's talk about how to hold the bottle. So when you're using a pour spout, you're always going to want to hold the bottle by the neck, okay? This is grip number one. It's just, we just call it a fist grip, okay? Grip number two, is a reverse fist, so just like this. And then grip number three is what we call the scissor grip, okay? Now I'll talk about how to employ all of these grips shortly. Now when it comes to pouring, the main thing we're looking for is we want the bottle to go from here to inverted perfectly, as vertical as you possibly can, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So it should look something like this. You see how the bottle is perfectly inverted? My label is facing you. Now, a good way to practice is to, is to let the bottle do the work for you, okay? So newer bartenders sometimes get into a bit of trouble, myself included, because we think that a lot of the effort has to come from the wrist, okay? So a, this especially comes in when you're using your scissor grip and you go to do something like this, that really hurts. So, so do some weird stuff while you're at home or practicing. Let the bottle do the work for you. Have it go all the way around just like this, boom. Okay, see, we let the bottle do the, whoops, we let the bottle do the work. So all, all we're doing is, and move, use your entire body as well. Use your elbow, okay? So it's like this. And then it's just resting, okay? The bottle's just resting. There's nothing uncomfortable about it. So when we hold the bottle with our standard fist grip, we're just looking for straight up and down, okay? Just like that, okay? That's it. Now, if you're gonna use a reverse grip, we just do this, and this is really easy to get the bottle straight up and down. It's just, just like that, okay? That's it. We'll talk about cutting in a moment, don't worry, but straight up and down, okay? And then finally, for your, if you're using the scissor grip, okay? Just this, and this is, you'll really wanna make sure that you have momentum with this, otherwise it's, it can be really uncomfortable um, on your fingers and your wrists. So see how it's just swinging? It's like a pendulum. It's like a pendulum, okay? Straight up and down, okay? So let's try that again. Straight up and down and cut, okay? The next thing we wanna master is, is how to cut a pour, okay? You'll probably find as you begin to practice, when you do cut, you know, probably do something like this, ah, ah, it goes everywhere, right? It's a big mess, but that's okay, that's totally normal. The, the simplest way to begin mastering your cut is to use the edge of your tin or jigger as a fulcrum. So it's kind of like this, okay? So we see how that, see how we got that? And then I'm just gonna go just like that and it goes straight in, I can get some height. And then I'm gonna do this again, okay? It's just like a little, little pivot point, okay? And in that way, you can ensure that your cut is clean every single time. So just get used to, oops, just get used to that as you're beginning to develop your cuts, okay? And again, don't be afraid to move your body around, okay? So there we go. I'm gonna get some air here, whoa, and then cut, okay? Now, so that's, that, that is your basic cut, okay? From there, we have a couple of other options as well. A super handy cut is called, we just call it a bounce cut, okay? And it's just, 
It's just a little uh, bounce down to interrupt the flow from our spill stop 28550 pour spout so that we can cut nice and clean. So watch, it looks like this. Okay, I'm just gonna, little bounce cut, okay? I'll do it up here so you can see. Bounce cut, you see? And it's not, what, what many <laughs> newer bartenders will do is they kind of do this like, ah, like aggressive bounce. And that, that's kind of cool, but all it really is, is it's just a little love tap, you see? And then this works really well with your reverse fist grip as well, okay? Bounce. What you'll find when you're using the reverse fist grip though, something to be wary of, is you're not gonna be able to go back in the same direction you came in. So I'm, I'm going in this direction. If I bounce and go this, well, that kind of works, but it's kind of awkward. So what you'll find is a little bit easier is to up like this, bounce in the other direction. Okay, so reverse fist, up and down, bounce. So the next cut is called the swoop cut. This works really well with your scissor grip, okay? So this is, it's a little flary, but you go like this, and then we swoop, okay? So I'll do that again. Up like this, swoop. And what you'll find is helpful is to, to, to just, as you're getting used to this, just swoop kind of like in the tin, you see? I'm not like, I'm not going up like this and doing crazy stuff. I'm going down and swooping in the t tin. So that we, we get in the habit of keeping those cuts nice and clean. You can also do a swoop cut down. So one thing you can do is you can go up like this and so you can go up like this and down like that. Okay, or, and don't be afraid, again, move your body. So I'm, look, I'm pouring like this. I'm, I'm not over here. You can be over there, but I'm also, I can be over here and swoop down, okay? Swoop down. Swoop down, yeah? So you got, this is kind of the forward swoop and then you also have the downward swoop, like so. It's best to practice in your tin like this, but then once you feel like you're beginning to get the mechanics down, we're gonna move to the jigger. And it's the same thing, you just have, you know, you have a smaller basin to work with, a little bit less room for error. Let's talk about pouring with a jigger, okay? So, again, it's just straight up and down, okay? Straight up and down, cut. Straight up and down, cut. You can do all the same cuts as I just taught you. So you can go up and then do a bounce cut. You can do a swoop cut. Okay. You can do a reverse fist grip. Boom. So I want you to begin to think about your different grips and the way you cut as all part of movements that are in your, uh, your sort of dancing toolkit, okay? Eventually this all works together to become like a choreographed dance. Now to practice your pour, here's what I want you to do. Using your jigger, you're going to practice one ounce, one and a half ounce, and two ounce pours. And what you're going to do, you're going to fill up a large tin or other large vessel. And so, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make a video of yourself, just lean up an iPhone or whatever, lean up your phone against a pillar and just turn the record button on and you are going to make a video that looks something like this. You're gonna practice different grips, different cuts and different measurements, one ounce, one and a half ounce and two ounce pours, okay? So you're just gonna make a video and you're just gonna have some fun, okay? So here's one ounce. Okay, one ounce again. Want it nice and clean. I'm gonna switch up my grip and I'm gonna do a reverse fist and a bounce cut. One ounce. Again, reverse fist, bounce cut. Now I'm gonna do a scissor cut, or scissor grip, sorry. And a swoop cut, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna go back to just a regular, I'm gonna do an ounce and a half now. And you're just gonna go on like that until you've filled up this entire vessel. And then what you're going to do is you're going to upload that video to the Facebook group. 